what's going on guys so today we're in the bmw as you can see this isn't the 300 zx so today obviously as you can see from the title and thumbnail i'm going to be talking about the bmw 335 n54 as a daily now <laughs> this is a question i honestly people see me drive it and they're like dude you, you daily at 335 how is that and the answer is it's freaking amazing bro like straight up like this car is ooh, one of my favorite cars obviously the 300zx is probably my ultimate favorite but i think my second favorite's got to be this car like that i've ever owned because like it's got it's got the power it's got the luxury it's got the looks like it's got it all for just driving now, yes, these are not the best daily cars, but do I love dailying it? Oh, yeah. It doesn't have as many problems as my Grand ZX Twin Turbo. Even though it is a Twin Turbo, but it is from 2007, so it has less issues, obviously. So, yes, it is not the best daily in the world, but for the power and how comfortable it is to drive and all of that, it is a great daily. Is it expensive to daily? Kinda, yeah. It's pretty expensive to daily, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the gas is expensive. It goes through a good amount of gas. Uh, the maintenance is expensive. A lot of stuff does break. Well, not a lot of stuff. I'd say the common things go out, like the water pump, the high pressure fuel pump, the injectors. All those things go out, and they're not cheap. But luckily, I've only had the water pump is about to go out luckily it tells you when it's about to go out like it gives you like warnings when you check the codes so that is really cool my 3 dzx does not tell me nothing i have to hear it that's pretty much it so luckily this car actually talks to me so i know that that's about to go out i'm gonna replace it here shortly soon i'm probably gonna make a video on it just to show you guys how to do it because it is a common issue with these cars now gas mileage is a lot of people's question because that's what they're looking for when they buy a daily is good gas mileage and that is all up to you if you drive the car soft and easy you're gonna have better gas mileage than if you drive the car hard and fast obviously that's a given now you do have to put in premium gas so that's gonna make your gas more expensive than say like a Elantra or a Camry or something like that with the 80 7 or octane versus like the 93 or 91 but you know you got to look at how many how many times do you press the gas pedal and smile in your camry not that much how many times you press the gas pedal and smile gas pedal and smile in your 335 a lot now something that does suck about having this car as a daily is i have to keep it reliable as possible so doing mods to it not the best idea when you're trying to have a daily so that's why i've pretty much kept the thing stock not by choice but by the fact that i know if i put more power i'm going to drive it harder and in turn it's going to break more and not be such a reliable daily but the, the cars ran good and i've had the car for a, about a year it's got 171,000 miles on it which is a pretty high for a 335 but luckily nothing serious has really gone wrong Oil leaks, obviously, pretty much every single BMW has oil leaks, so just know that that's going to be a thing and you need to fix it. But luckily, you can check your oil in your car when you're driving, so that's dope. That also sucks because you don't know how correct it is, but trust it, it's a computer, it never fails, right? Yeah. So, but that is a cool factor. I wish they would have had both where you could check it with the stick and with the uh, controller in the dash. That would be cool. So like you knew for sure it was accurate, accurate or not, but hey, BMW, that's how they are. So that's also cool, so you have an oil leak, you know. The coolant warning lights, all that stuff are good for this car. I'm not usually used to that, so it is nice to have all of those things, but coolant leaks and oil leaks are pretty much a, well, I'm not gonna say 100%, but 95% thing in the 335s, especially the ones with higher than like 120 or 130 thousand miles but i still 
recommend this as a daily. I mean, it's amazing. I love it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is an automatic, which I got an automatic because it was going to be a daily. Like, and for daily traffic and like long trips, having a manual isn't ideal. I do have two other manual cars, so an automatic seemed fit. Now, yes, if I ever decided to make this not a daily and go make it fast, it's going to suck and I'm going to regret having an automatic transmission. But as of right now, I'm glad that I got the automatic versus the manual. Hate, hate on me if you want, it's fine. It's all good. Now, I do have an MHD Stage 1 tune on here, which is kind of just like a, you got to have that. Like It just opens the car up so much more. So, you know, I got a tune on it. I'm probably going to do like a charge pipe. And maybe a pole bolt on is an 85. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. I don't want I want to so bad, but I know like you're talking about making like 400 horsepower in a car with 170,000 miles. Like you're just asking for problems. So But back to the question: is it a good daily? Hell yeah, it's a good daily. If you like spending money. It's not a cheap car to own by any means. I'm, I'm not going to say it's super expensive, but if you're mechanically inclined, then it's not that bad. If you are not mechanically inclined, then it's going to be expensive because the shop's going to have to do it and they're probably going to charge you a lot. So, just things to think about when you're buying one or thinking about what's the best daily for me. You know, It's better than a 300ZX to a turbo, I can tell you that on the daily standpoint. I made a video about that. In case you want to know if a 300ZX is a good daily. Go check my videos. I'll probably leave it linked in the description so you can check it out and see what I say about that one. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to kind of address the three 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 address the three thirty five I and like, is it a good daily? And like, do I regret choosing it as a daily? The answer is it's a pretty good daily, and no, I do not regret choosing it as a daily. It's a very fun car to drive, and it's been worth dailying it and going through the little issues that it does have. So yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you're uh, one of those YouTube creepers that like watches the videos but never subscribe, go subscribe and tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell everybody to go subscribe because we're just trying to grow, guys. We're just trying to grow. And go like the video, turn on post notifications, and yeah, peace out, guys.